Hey everyone, welcome to the video. It's Peggy here. This is the first video with the long-awaited narration. I've had a lot of requests for narration in my videos and I have not tried that yet, so um, after a few requests, here we are. So here I am measuring up the uh, pen tube against the pen blank. In this project I make a couple of different pens and this project is um, a custom order, a gift for a young lady who was accepted to Harvard, so congrats, Gracie. Here I'm finding center on the pen blank. So I've made a, or I'm making a white pen and a maroon pen. And I'm using my uh, pen vise for this, comes in very handy. And here I'm using the drill press um, to drill the hole for the tube. Still organizing my shop, so the pen press just happens to be on the floor. And a clean cut through. That's good. So here I've mounted it on the pen mandrel in the chuck and here I'm spinning at about or uh, turning at about 1500 RPMs and I'm using the Easywood Hollower uh, number one with a negative rake tip. The negative rake just works wonders on the acrylic. Really like it. Just taking my time, trying not to get any uh, blowouts with the acrylic. I don't make pens a whole lot. Uh, lately I've made mostly bowls and vases and platters. So just taking my time, getting back into it. Starting to, to make the shape rounded on each end. So here I'm just finalizing the shape. I'm not I'm not trying to have it be a flat tube, but uh, rounded over and rounded in the middle, I should say, uh, because I'm putting a sticker on each of the pen blanks, a Harvard sticker, which you'll see in a minute. Here you'll notice I switched from the carbide uh, negative rake tip to a skew chisel. Which worked great, by the way. So I get a lot of comments in uh, the comment section of my videos. A lot of people have commented in the past about uh, wearing a glove. I know it's not the safest thing to do, uh, I do realize that. It's just a personal preference I have. I wear, usually wear a, a, thin, a very thin glove on the left hand. So here I'm using uh, regular sandpaper to sand from 120 to 600 and then I switch to the micro mesh pads and go up through all of the grits on the micro mesh pads. Uh, I don't film the micro mesh pads, but you get the idea. So 
So as you can see here, I'm placing the Harvard sticker on the white pen blank. Uh, I've tried, as you can see, you can see the other Harvard sticker there uh, sitting on the lathe. Uh, I, I tried a few different times to get it perfect. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't perfect any of the five times I tried it. Um, a few wrinkles that I couldn't quite get out, but overall, um, it did it did stick okay. Just it wasn't um, perfect, um, but I tried. I got it the best I could. And so here I'm using the Total Bolt Healthy and Clear Gloss Varnish uh, to go over the uh, entire blank, including the sticker. First time I've tried this before, um, Total Bolt had sent me some products and uh, it, it worked really well. I was worried a little bit about the thickness of it and if it would it run and be difficult, but it was not. It worked great. The traditional finish that I would use on a pen blank uh, really didn't work because of the sticker. The uh, CA glue finish would have really ruined the sticker. Here I'm using 220 sandpaper to clean up the ends of the tube to make them perfectly straight and flush. Here, I'm just laying out the pen parts. And I did have a, a, a pretty nice pen press, but it broke recently, so I resorted to the uh, clamp, which, which actually worked fine. Sometimes you don't need to spend money on expensive equipment. And so I'm just putting together the, the components here and putting together the pen. It is a fountain tip pen. Uh, both of them are that I made. So um, here I'm trying a different, uh, this, this part that I put in actually I think went with a rollerball pen. So. I'm a little confused at this point. Hey, but what's new, right? So the the gift that was ordered was for a a pen and a pen holder. So here I'm using a figured maple blank, and I'm going to be turning a pen holder. Drilling for the worm screw. We'll put the worm screw in the chuck and hold it on. That way when I turn it, I keep dropping things. Clumsy. it up and here I am making 
a tenon and I will start to shape the bottom here in a second round over the, the hard edge. I'm just profiling the tenon right here. Pretty simple and straightforward shape that I'm going for here, nothing fancy. As you can see, I'm using the Robert Sorby uh, diamond parting tool here. Back to the bowl gouge, shaping the corner and rounding it over. clean the surface with denatured alcohol. After sanding I usually use this just to see, well, to clean, but also just to see what it's gonna look like. Which is a really fun part, I think. A pretty piece of maple, I think. So here I'm just starting to Hollow it out. And as I'm doing the narration here, I'm just thinking I, I could have used a Forstner bit to, to hollow out some of it a little bit easier, I suppose, but I did not. So sanded and hollowed out, and here I'm using the artisan black dye to dye the outside black. After that dried, I'm using some Axe Abrasive Sanding Paste. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to try Axe, it's a really great product. Link is in the description of my video. And I'm just buffing that sanding paste, and you'll see how it shines. Great stuff. Next, I'm using the Axe Polishing Paste, which is also great stuff. Thank you, Axe. So I use both on the outside and the inside, and with the Polishing Paste, paste. They, you put it on and, and work it in, start it slow, and then speed up the lathe. So really breaks out the shine. Great, great product. Link for this is also in the description.
All right, here I am measuring for the placement of the stickers. There are going to be two stickers, uh, two Harvard uh, emblems. Here's the first one. I'm just trying to get them lo located in the in the middle, centered as much as possible. Here I'm just working out the wrinkles. Again, this was a little bit difficult to get all of them. And on the opposite side of the H, we're measuring for the second emblem. Working out the wrinkles. If anyone has a better way to that they know of to do this, please let me know in the comments. This was a little bit frustrating. And again, it didn't come out perfect, but um, it came out okay. Maybe it was the quality of the stickers, I'm not sure. Maybe it was me. It was probably me. And here I'm play, uh, play, spraying some uh, gloss lacquer. I think I ended up using about five coats. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think of the narration in the comments, if I should keep it, if I should not bother. And also let me know what you think of the pens. Do you like the white or the maroon? So also guys, I wanted to mention I just uh, started a Patreon page. If you're so inclined to help out at all, check it out. The link is on my YouTube page. Look for the little P up in the right-hand corner. Thanks again, guys. See you next week. Bye for now.